In Japan, baby macaques share a fun winter activity with humans. Young macaques play in the snow and even make snowballs. It's almost become a tradition for these little monkeys to form snowballs in the winter, take them to the top of a slope and watch them roll down. This 2 cm long baby kangaroo is just a few days old. After 28 to 33 days in the womb, the undeveloped newborn moves into its mother's pouch, where it nurses for roughly 8 months until it takes its first steps into the outside world. Kangaroos will wait until the first joey has left the pouch until they give birth to the next one. Even though the first baby is now outside exploring the world, it still needs the nutritious milk of its mother. When a kangaroo has two joeys at different ages, the smaller one one suckles inside of the pouch and the bigger one suckles from a different teat located outside of the pouch. The mother even provides different types of milk, one for each of her babies. Unlike newborn kangaroos, baby elephants come out of the womb fully developed. They can stand up within only minutes after birth and are able to keep up with their herd after only a few days. However, there is one thing that takes a baby elephant a while to master. Using that strange long trunk. It takes them a whole 8 months until they can fully control the 40,000 muscles in their delicate trunks. Until then, they might accidentally step on their trunks or suck on them for comfort. For the first few months, baby elephants have to drink like this. A newborn blue whale is about 7 meters long and already weighs between 5 and 6 thousand pounds. The nursing mother produces roughly 190 liters of milk each day. With that much milk, the blue whale calf gains a whopping 4.5 kilograms not every week, not even every day, but every hour. That adds up to more than 100 kilograms of weight gain each day. Unlike blue whales, newborn pandas are incredibly tiny. While adult pandas can weigh more than 100 kilograms and grow nearly 2 meters long, baby pandas only weigh about 100 grams. This makes them one of the smallest newborn mammals relative to their mother's size. Surviving in the wild can be quite challenging, especially for newborn animals. Baby sea turtles use a fascinating technique to increase their chances of survival. Research has found that baby sea turtles communicate with each other inside their eggs by making sounds to make sure they can all hatch at the same time. Their teamwork can help them avoid being eaten by predators when they hatch. Orcas use an interesting strategy to increase the survival chances of their newborns as well. Newborn orcas don't sleep for an entire month, which means their mothers don't either. Typically, an adult orca sleeps between 5 and 8 hours a day. By staying awake, the newborns reduce the risk of predation and it helps them maintain their body temperature. Well, don't these little creatures look just absolutely adorable, but appearance can be deceiving. Some otters don't always behave as cute as they look. In fact, male otters sometimes hold pups for ransom to force the mother of the pup to give up her food. A male will grab the baby otter while its mother is diving for food and force it underwater. Once the mother resurfaced, he will steal her food and leave the crime scene.